we had a life before social media. We had a life before there were cell phone cameras everywhere, even before there was phones. <laughs> so we talk, Heather. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm aging us. So we talk a lot about the life before all of that and the flashbacks to our, our past lives. And then and we talk about uh, that with our guests. And there's like nothing off limits. Like everyone could just be themselves and just have so much fun. Yeah, we like to be a free space, everything positive. We don't like to bring up a lot of negativity. Um, we like to try to get the juice from, from, our, from our guests. Yeah. And, um yeah we just have fun with it we just want to like we want it to be just a space that they can come and feel like they can tell us anything girl talk yeah girl guy talk whatever <laughs> yeah now what is the wildest thing a guest has told you you already said that people have said some crazy stuff what's like the wildest thing jess i, I, I think i know exactly <laughs> what you're thinking because i'm thinking the same thing and I don't know, <laughs> that one that just came out today though right you know what yeah i mean i guess it's if it's out there on flashbacks we might as well just say it but uh you know, I, um, well, okay, so we had Sheena on today, and she was talking about her hookup with John Mayer, and um, her and my sister are best friends, and my sister was on the original season of The Hills, and I guess they had, um, they, Sheena admitted that uh, they had a little fun together with John Mayer, like and uh, some type of relationship together, <laughs> so. and I never knew that as her sister, and uh, Sheena just is a, you know, she's an open book, and if you know Sheena, she just was telling us all this, and Heather and I's faces were like, <gasps> wait, and I thought, I thought maybe Jessica knew because it was her no! sister, and Jessica afterwards was like, because I thought maybe she was just kind of like, like, I could tell she was shocked, but I was like, maybe she just doesn't want to comment on it. But I was like, jaw dropped, like, okay, I need to hear more about this because I know her sister very well. I've known Jessica very well. Yeah. So we're both like, wait, what was, what happened? When did this happen? So we got to I, hear I, the whole backstory. I still have yet to talk to Stacey about it. I was going to say, sister. did you call her and be like, excuse me, no. hello? So, no, no. So I have to get Stacey's side of the story because we all know there's, what, three sides to every story, <laughs> literally. <laughs> That is so she needs to be the next guest on the podcast. <laughs> yes, she is. She is. And then Heather and I, uh, you know, we all take care of each other at Action Park Media. So uh, we did her show as well. So that should be coming out in the next couple weeks. Okay. Yeah, we had fun on Tina's show as well. That's so fun. Now, is there any like WTF moment that you guys have spilled? And then you're like, oh my God, why did I just say that? Well, I, um, every day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think like sometimes, you know, like f for me, especially I've told Jess, like I need to like sometimes remember, I mean, listen, both of us, we've been, we're, we're good girls. Like we've had, we've been through a lot of crazy times, but like overall, Jessica has been in a, a relationship for 17 years with her husband. Yeah. I was in a seven year relationship during my Playboy years and all of our years at Playboy together. And, um, you know, we would go work. She was hosting a lot of the parties. I was working my bunny costume at a lot of the parties. And so her and I weren't like the craziest. We have maybe some crazy stories or things yeah. we saw. Wow. Now, is there anything off the table that you just like won't talk about? If your spouses are like, please, for the love of God, just don't talk about this. Is there anything like that? For me, you know, I do respect, I mean, we both respect our men. I'm engaged and my, my fiance is, you know, he's very well known. And so I do respect, like, I won't bring up certain things or relationships from my past that I feel like he wouldn't want to hear, or even like, I wouldn't want to hear certain things that he's done or certain, certain things he's dealt with in his past. So I just feel like I really am conscious about respecting that. And then also I have stepkids, Jessica has kids. So mm -hmm. of course we know our kids one day would be listening to our podcast and um, hearing about our lives or things we say. So I am very aware and, and, um, you know, like I said, we, we are both good girls, but you also want to be respectful to your spouse. Right. Yes, I, I agree with Heather. Um, nothing's really, my, I've been with my husband for 17 years and he just laughs. He calls he's himself like, this like, this is you. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what, if I have nothing to talk about or if I feel whatever, I'll say a funny story about him or something to do with us. And he calls himself like dead airtime because I'm always like, we can't, you know, I, I, it's just, I don't know. So I guess nothing really is off limits, but obviously like Heather said, of course, I have so much respect for my family. So I'd never put them in a bad light. But when I say off limits, I, I think Heather and I pretty much besides that, it's, it's fair game. Yeah. yeah. And then also, you know, our podcast, like we, we want to get the, the gossip and juice out of our guests. It's not really about Jessica and I, I mean, we all have obviously yeah. chime in. We talk about some of our stories as well, but it's mainly about our guests. It's not about us. Mm -hmm. So we want to, we want to talk to them. We want to get their stories and try to get gossip out of them. Now, when you guys look back at your Playboy days, do you ever have the urge of like, 
I'm hot. I want to do this again. <laughs> well, um, my, I, I, you know what? I, I once was paid to show these, but now they're just like, I mean, they have been milked through for four years. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants that. <laughs> they look good, Jess. I've seen them. I've seen them recently and they look good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Heather has my back. I do. And my front. <laughs> um, for me, you know, I think, you know, I was a centerfold so long ago and I, I, I shot for the magazine a few other times. I think at this point in my life, no. Um, but I really am so thankful for all the opportunities Playboy gave me. It catapulted my career. It changed my life. It was the most defining moment in my life. I wouldn't be where I am today without Playboy. I'm so supportive of the brand. But as far as me right now and having two stepkids, it's probably something that I'm not okay with with doing at this point in my life. And I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna tell the kids I did Playboy. Jessica and I have talked about that before too. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Mine are still super young. Heather is gonna have that conversation way before I am. So hopefully it just kind of keeps every year, you know, the kids aren't gonna find out what Playboy actually is. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wear a Playboy um, like sweatshirt around and like I have like these like cute little Playboy jammies and I'll wear them around the house sometimes. And I'm like, okay, I'm probably at that point where they might be like, especially Tariq's daughter might be like, what's Playboy? And then I have to be like, uh, you know? So yeah. I'm always start wearing, stop wearing those jammies. <laughs> Heather, you have had a couple of Selling Sunset coasters on the podcast. Do you have any plans for more? Chrishell. Yeah. yeah, you know, I, I, we asked Chrishell to come on, but this was, was like a month ago. It was like, you know, really when COVID was um, at its worst. So, you know, she was being extra careful because her mom was um, immune compromised. She just passed away from cancer. So she had to be extra careful. So I think now that um, unfortunately her mom is no longer here, um, she'd probably be more willing to come into the studio. And we, we're really safe at the studio. We keep our distance. Yeah. You know, everyone, um, is away from each other. There's, there's not a lot of people there. It's very minimal. So I think she would feel comfortable. I'd also love to have Jason and Brett on. I think mean, that'd be fun. Yeah. It'd be so there. fun. Like listen to them, like their dating stories. I mean, they're just like bat total bachelors and have the craziest stories. So I feel like they'd be really fun to have on. Chrissy Teigen recently tweeted saying that she doesn't really know if you and your fellow Selling Sunset co-stars are actually realtors. <laughs> so I want you to set the record straight for us. That's hilarious. We all are real estate agents. We've been in office, established office for years. I've been at the Oppenheim Group since 2015. I'm about to close on a $3.2 million house down here in Newport. Um, I'm closing next week on a $2 million house up in LA. I had eight offers over asking. I have four backup offers. Um, you know, it's like I'm flipping a house down here, another one down here in Newport. So you know, we are as busy as ever. Uh, we are a boutique agency, so I don't know, but she has seen the show. She obviously has heard of us at this point. So, um, you know, I don't know where she's been hiding under a rock, but <laughs> we are all are very active real estate agents and we're very, very busy at the moment. I love it. Now, any idea of season four? You know, I can't imagine it not happening, but unfortunately we don't have official news, but I'm, you know, I need everyone to binge the show, keep watching, because that'll officially get us a season four. So, you know, I, my fingers are crossed. I can't imagine, like I said, it not happening, but, you know, there's always a chance. So as long as everyone keeps loving it, then hopefully we'll get it. You guys can find flashbacks on every podcast outlet. It is run by Action Park Media, owned by Kevin Conley, and my Instagram is at I am Jessica Hall. And I'm um, throughout Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, I'm Heather Ray Young, and Ray is R-A-E.